Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sherry Turquoise and today is August 1st at 10.58 a.m. Today is day one for the readathon with Summer Scare readathon and the Avatar Base readathon. Today's read, because I'm planning on reading one book a day, plus try to get as much of a beta read of all the book as the books I'm reading. Uh, for beta readers done at the exact same time so I did not get Vessel done yesterday so I'm going to get that book done today and then I'm going to start Newborn today but the goal is to get Carrie done today with Vessel. Vessel I only have three to four more chapters to go and then I'm officially done that book and then I will be going straight to Newborn so what's happening today is I will be reading Carrie, Vessel, Newborn, once I'm done Vessel, so I'll only be reading two books today. And I will come back to you guys every couple of hours or whenever I feel like I've made some sort of progress. There is no chapters in Carrie I checked. There is 290 pages, so which is not bad. The goal is to have this book fully finished by 11 o'clock tonight. You're okay, Shadow. 11 o'clock tonight because I do got an early morning shift tomorrow. So that is the plan. I'm already running a little bit behind, but that's normal because I was editing video for uploading today. Today there's already going to be, you're fine, five to six videos being uploaded. The August planner and the week, uh, you're fine. Books that I did not get to and got to and continue reading during the month of July. August to be read and yesterday's readathon. Oh. Okay, only four, but if I can get this book done before and get it uploaded today, that's terrific. You're fine. Sorry, Shadow's claiming that he's out of food again when he's not. This is what he does when he's whining for food. He meows, don't ya? Come here. Ugh. Here he is, folks. Wave. He's just a handsome one. The only things of his little belly. There he goes. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I will be taking breaks every so often just to finish my cleaning and whatnot. So I'll see you guys shortly. And I'm back. It is 6.05 p.m. I have not been vlogging basically all day because I just got a quarter's way of the book of Carrie. Um, I really don't know how to explain how I feel about this book 100%. Um, it's definitely interesting, but what keeps pulling me out of the story is not only is it not done in chapters, it's not that big of a deal it's the fact there is character change point of views and there is no warning so we will start from Carrie and then we will hit all of a sudden we hit a experimental page of what happened to Carrie in the future or in the past kind of thing Carrie was in a lab and then we hit another character's point of view, and then we hit the lab again, and then we hit another character's point of view, and then we hit the lab again, and then we hit go back to Carrie's point of view. Now I just got past the lab's point of view, and we're on another character's point of view. So it made scenes confusing, so I had to reread some pages again just to make sure I was reading it right. So it's very hard to keep track of what's happening whose point of view you are listening in or you are reading because it's just like okay we're in Carrie's point of view and then vroom we're in another character's point of view like wait what 
Are we still in Carrie's point of view or are we in a different one now? There is there is no warning at all. And I kind of wish there was some sort of warning. Even though he has a... Uh, like a gap here, but it doesn't say whether it's a scientist's point of view or something. Is when you hit that big of a gap, it's an automatic like character change or a storyline change. I guess is with the scientist. So I am about I am. 86 pages in out of the 290 so I just got about a little over 200 more pages to go so I'll try to get this done today I've been setting my timer for an hour but I've also been editing my videos as well I'm on my last video to edit on this current memory stick SD card and I've also been reading Vessel I am down I am on chapter 13 or 14, so I only got one more chapter or two more chapters left, and I'm done reading that. Then I will be on Firstborn, which will probably end up being start tomorrow, because I'll be trying to get this book done. And I'm also finished my cleaning today, so that's another thing that slowed me down. So even if I don't get this book done today by 11 o'clock tonight, chances are I will be finishing it tomorrow, and then I will probably just do like a quick graphic novel read so I know I can get those done within the hour or two and then try to do another novel either tomorrow after the no, after the graphic novel or I'll do the novel Monday and I need to try to something I realize if I want to wake up in time to read one book I need to wake up probably around 7 o'clock in the morning and start reading no later than 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, the absolute latest. This is a challenge that I like to give to myself and I quite enjoy challenges and they are extremely fun in my opinion. I know everyone has a different opinion on what they find challenging, but I would like to see if I can actually work better on my time schedule and, and this is part of the challenge so I sometimes like making challenges into like a little bit of a game so that's my little rant kind of explaining the situation and the book um, I'm trying not to give out too much away about the book until the book review which will come along as soon as the book is done which I'm probably going to include the book review at the end of this video uh, what I think of it, how much of a star rating I'll give it and all that I'll probably do that at the end of this video so that way it's there it just makes more sense so anyways, I'm blabbing now, so I will come back to you guys some point in time this evening with a update with either me saying that I'm done vessel or me about halfway. Oh, another thing about this book, it is in really three parts. Yeah, part three. So there's part one, blood sport. I'm approaching... Part 2, which I think is prom. Yeah, prom night. So all this is part 1. Part 2 is prom night. Which goes all the way to here. And then part 3 is this little bit. So if you really want to get technical, it's basically 3 chapters. But it's not in three chapters, it is in three parts. And at 290 pages, and so far, in. I think I'm on my fourth character point of view? No. Three. I think this is the third character. This is Sue's point of view. There is the carriage point of view, the scientist point of view. And ah, here it is as Telly Horing. 
I think that's how you pronounce her name. So those are the four character point of views that's so far are happening. And it's just a sudden character change, so it's one of those adaptions that needs to make. The fact that I'm going that it almost took me 12 hours just to get a little over a quarter done of this book. Because a quarter of this book is 72.5, so I just rounded up to roughly 73. I'm almost at the halfway point. So if I can hit part two or finish the vessel, whichever one comes first is when I'll let you guys know next round on the book. And I'll see you guys shortly. And I'm back. It is 7.07 p.m. And I just read in Vessel. The, there was definitely a plot twist that I did not see coming. Because it was in the epilogue. It was like it, it caught me so off guard. I was like, wait, what? So, I have an idea what's going to happen in book two. So, I'm just curious to see if that's what's going to happen. Um, I'll start book two, Firstborn, tomorrow, because I'm going to try to get Carrie's book done tonight in one, two, three, four, in five hours. We'll see if that is accomplishable. And I'm also waiting for this final video to go up tonight. I'll have this video up on July, not July, August 2nd sometime after work because I have a shift tomorrow so anyways I'm just going to go eat my supper and process what I just read for a plot twist because it's still blowing my mind it's like I didn't even see it coming there was no hints of it and well I'm sure there was but it's like it could it I read over them Normally I can see a lot of plot twists, so that was a plot twist I just did not see coming. So, that was in the epilogue too. So, yeah. I'll see you guys shortly. And I'm back. It is 9.16pm and I just got to part 2 of Carrie. Um, I didn't think it would have picked up the way it did, but... It actually got an interest in them. Um, I actually feel really, really bad for Carrie, even though now she has this psychic ability, but her mom is so heavy Christian that she thinks her own daughter is the devil's child now. When really, there's nothing wrong with her. Um, she has basically brainwashed her own daughter, thinking that on um, developing a chest or having menstrual cycles are sinful when really they're just a natural part of a woman's body. So that kind of made me go, I wonder if there's any parents like that still. There probably still is a couple, not many, but still out there. And when she developed telekinesis, now she can lift everything she has trained to use her powers but her mother is calling her the devil's spawn or something like that um it's still quite confusing on which point of view you are on um, there's just been a new point of view uh, a bully's point of view and they're gonna do a idea a joke that would actually do a lot of damage on someone and another person who was in on the bullion when Carrie found out that her that she is just became a woman with her menstrual cycle for her very first time. Uh, she feels bad for what she did, so she's trying to make it up for her to her to get her to go to the spring prom and try to get her to meet other people to get to lower her guard down just a little bit instead of having her guard up all the time because people have bullied her. Her mother abuses her. So realistically she can't even let her guard down even for a second. So I feel really bad for Carrie because if this joke goes through not only is she going to be extremely pissed at 
Tommy Rose, which is the guy that asked her out, but not because he wanted to, because he was asked to, um, because uh, Sue, her, Sue is dating Tommy Rose, and Sue asked him to do that, and Tommy openly agreed because he loves Sue, but he also wants to try to make things right with Carrie. Not, it doesn't sound like he was part of any of the bullying, but he, it sounds like he is willing to help try to make things right and try to help Carrie find a comfort in life that, hey, not everyone's are bad. Not everyone are, is a bully. You, there are kind people here. Here, let me show you kind of thing. So he's doing that. Even doing that. Even though it, it was asked of him, but at the exact same time, he has his own motives to help carry out. He is trying to, just like Sue, they're trying to show her, hey, not everyone are mean. Well, Nicole, on the other hand, who is a very big spoiled brat, claimed that her dad is a lawyer, and the, the lawyer tried to sue the school. But he found out the hard way by the sound of things that the school can actually sue him uh, for Carrie because of what had happened. So. And he was also trying to get his spoiled brat daughter back in the prom because she wouldn't show up for a detention. Which leads to the punishment. The punishment was a whole week of detention with the gym teacher, which is reasonable. But if you skip a detention, the consequence is three day suspension and no prom. Your ticket is gone. So Chrissy decides not to show up for a detention and now she's not going to prom and claimed that she was going to sue the school. And it seems like her dad had to back out because he found out something that he can't even defend himself and would put a bad name under his reputation. Because apparently he's front in front of magazines, so that would not look good. Uh, spoiled brat, Char Carrie, not Carrie, Char spoiled brat in a way. I totally forgot her name already. <laughs> well, it's, I'm really bad remembering names. Charlotte, I think it was. And anyway, the a spoiled brat has a plan to ruin Carrie's night. Which is really unfortunate that she has this big ego and blames Carrie for what has happened. When really she needs, when really the spoiled brat needs to take responsibility of her own actions and realize, oh wait, I did that. That was my fault, not Carrie's. But because Carrie is so different, she's just an easy target. So. There's definitely a build up. Psychic abilities, uh, very bad prank that's gonna go obviously wrong with a psychic person. And with the scientist saying, basically, actually, they kind of spoil what's gonna happen in the story. Um, so that I was not really impressed because if it was supposed to just leave breadcrumbs, well, Stephen King kind of just spoiled what's gonna happen in prom. Because, yeah, unless you skim right over the scientist parts where they say, from the shadow exploded kind of thing, that's how you know you hit a scientist section. Um, yeah, then you technically kind of know how, what the results are going to be at prom. I don't think that's gonna be the climax climax, but I could be wrong. Um Yeah, so yeah. Her they're teenagers, yes, and they do none so smart things, however Um Yeah, we're about to find out the horror section soon. We just experienced the bullying and the build up to the horror. This is a more, even though it's kind of called it a fiction horror, it's more of the 
fiction paranormal but we're going to probably be hitting the horror section real soon at prom so I'm look I'll see if I can get this book done by 11 um this section goes all the way to page 277 I will continue reading this until further notice and I'm actually quite enjoying the read at first it was very confusing but I got adapted to it and enjoying the read so far so I will get back to this reading and let you guys know how things go probably around 10 30 11 o'clock for the final update unless I'm like really really close to the end then I will just plan and continue reading on which I'll let you guys know soon See you soon. I'm back. It is 10:52 p.m. Unfortunately, that a uh, couple of hours, I hour or two, I did not get much reading done in part two. In fact, I think I only got like a page or two. Oh no, I got more than a page or two. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. At least six pages into part two. However, my reading got a little interrupted, and I started talking to a friend. It's okay. I will definitely be finishing this tomorrow, and this vlog will definitely go up tomorrow sometime. And I will also try to get a graphic novel in tomorrow, too. Um, I don't think that part of the vlog will go up. No. This vlog will go up tomorrow, and then I'll start reading the graphic novel tomorrow as well, once this book is done, and, and edit, that, edit this video, and then once the graphic novel and that reading vlog is done, edit that video, and try to get both videos up tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon sometime, and have a good night. And I'm back. It is 12.40 p.m. on August 2nd. I just realized that while well, that worked, that I should have ended the vlog actually last night. Because I don't know what time I'm going to get this book done. It will be done at some point in time today. However, if it's going to be done like 7 o'clock tonight, this video won't be up until tomorrow. So to have this video up today, I need to end this vlog here. And I will put the rest of the book remaining on to today's vlog, reading vlog. And hopefully I can get to a second book. If not, not that big of a deal. So I'm going to end this here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And click the bell icon to get notified of all my posts. Because I post videos once a week. And do live stream once a week on normal months. And the month before Camp NaNoWriMo and NaNoWriMo. I do two videos a week. And I do two live streams a week. And during the month of NaNoWriMo and Camp NaNoWriMo. I post videos five to six days a week. Plus one live stream a week as well. And during readathons, I upload videos once a day until the readathon is done. So, and I also upload bonus videos all the time. So, click that bell icon to get notified of all my posts. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Links are down below. Click the like button. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys. Tomorrow or today? Well, no, it'll be tomorrow. And remember, stay true to yourself and stay unique. Bye!